Hello there. Today we're talking about how to attract life coaching clients. Now, I'm an expert in this, not only for attracting coaching clients myself, but many of my clients are coaches and I've helped them attract massive amounts of coaching clients to their businesses, even to the tune in a few cases of eight figures per year in coaching. I think I can cover everything in about 10 to 12 minutes, so whatever length this video is, by the end, you'll understand how to do this. You'll be able to implement this today, and as soon as tomorrow, you're gonna to have people that are gonna be finding you, and these are people who are looking for life coaching. These are people who are looking for your expertise. Let's dive right in. First thing that I wanna cover is there's a difference between push marketing and push advertising versus pull marketing and kind of magnetically attracting people. So what we're talking about in this episode is, is attracting people. We're not pushing out there like a billboard or a banner ad or a radio advertisement or an annoying commercial. Now there is a place for push marketing. That's just not what we're doing here. So we're not paying for any leads and we're not talking about cold leads either. People that, that come to you that are so cold, they don't even know why you're having a conversation. So we're talking about warm conversations. Everyone that you have a conversation with will have trust built with you already. There's already gonna be a relationship built before you guys have a conversation. Now let's talk about you. Okay, you have expertise. You have a lot of experience. That's why you're doing this. You have wisdom, you have experience and knowledge that you can share. Well, guess what? The people that should be hiring you as their life coach, they are actually searching for you. So right now, I mean, right now you're watching a YouTube video and right in this moment that you're watching, there are people around your state or around the country, even around the globe that are pulling out their phone or they're going on their laptop and they're typing in questions that you would be the perfect person to answer. You have these answers, but guess what? They're doing these searches and people don't know that you exist. They don't know how to find you. Now I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you some real life examples, okay? But there are a lot of different types of coaches. There are life coaches in dozens of different varieties, but there's also business coaches, or I'm gonna show you an example of a real estate investing coach, okay? So just stick with me. It totally relates to you as a life coach, and this is an example that I have permission to share with you. So let me give you a little context, okay? Noelle teaches Airbnb real estate. She teaches people how to invest in vacation rental properties, and so you buy it and you have a monthly payment on that mortgage or whatever, but then you're generating rent or vacation rental income that surpasses your expenses, right? So you're, you have positive cash flow on these properties and then you get another one and another one. So your, your positive cash flow increases. That's what Noelle does and that's what she teaches other people how to do. So she has great expertise just like you do and people go to Google and YouTube and they type in questions like how to invest in Airbnb real estate or how to repair credit so I can buy a vacation rental property. There are thousands of these questions and what Noelle does and what I recommend you do is she makes videos to answer those questions. So I know what you're thinking. Well, yeah, I get asked questions all the time. I've compiled a list of questions that people are asking and I'm sorry, that's not gonna work. Okay, what you have to do is do keyword research to find the questions that people are asking. Let me show you an example, okay? There's a tool that you can use and I'll, I'll share with you a link. You can get a free trial of this tool. It's amazing. But there are a lot of different ways as a life coach that you can help people. You can help people manage stress or you can help people with relationships. You can help people gain confidence or help them achieve their goals, right? So let me show you this tool. You'll see at the top here, it says keyword magic tool. If you want a free trial, go to hero keyword tool Dot com. Let me demonstrate this for you. So let's, let's say you want to help people achieve goals. All right, I'm going to turn on the questions button and I want specific questions. No, not languages. I want to go to advanced filters, turn on the word count up to eight. I love starting at eight. So I'm looking for very specific questions, questions that are eight words or longer. Okay. And they're all about achieving goals. Now I'm just going to tell you a default rule and then you can ask me why later. This is the search volume column. See how that says 320 searches a month? You wanna start lower. You wanna start with phrases between 10 a month and a maximum of 100 a month. Once you start to get traction with this, then you can go higher. Just trust me on that for now. 
So let's just scroll down here. We're looking at phrases in the 40s and 50s. What are the seven steps to achieve your goals? What difficulties might you face in achieving your goals? How can Chick-fil-A help you achieve your goals? I'm finding that these are still a little bit broad, even though we went out to eight words. So I want to find a word over on the side here to help me narrow this down a little bit more. So let's just, let's just use the word success. I mean, setting goals or achieving goals and success all in the same question. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to replace the word achieve with success because it doesn't have to say achieve in there. All right. This is, this is great. So we've got a lot in the 30 and 20 and 10 range. Let's look at these. How successful with you? No, I don't like that one. All right. How will I measure success towards my goals? I love that one, right? So you want to comb through and find the ones that you like. That was pretty similar. That one's weird. What are the five successful principles of goal setting? What support is needed? Okay, see how specific these are? That's what I'm looking for. Now get this. If you were to make a video and have one of these specific questions be the title of your video, and your 10 minute video is you answering that question, really giving value, that is gold, okay? So people who've never heard of you before, they go to Google and YouTube and they type in this question. Your video pops up and they're like, oh great, that's exactly what I wanted to find. So they watch your video all the way to the end and they appreciate it because you weren't selling to them, you weren't pushing anything on them, you were giving them what they wanted. They're in a moment of what's in it for me, that, right? They were just like, I have this question, what do I do? How do I, how do, I do this? They just wanna know how will I measure success towards my goals, they wanna know. And so you give that to them. At the end of the video, you can give them a gift. You might say, hey, now that you know how to measure this, I've got a tool that's gonna help you. Go ahead and click the link. Like, you wanna describe what this tool is. I'm just making it up, so that's why I don't know what to say. But give them a gift that's gonna help them in measuring their goals. So what they do now is they leave YouTube, they go to that page on your website where you're giving them this free gift, and they're gonna see your, your branding. They're gonna see your logo. They're gonna explore around. They might see your promotional materials. They might see what your services are. But to get that free gift, they're gonna give you their contact information. And then you can continue to nurture them. You can send them a text message that helps them. And you can send them an email that helps them. And you can send them an invitation. Hey, would you like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation? Right? Whether that's on the phone or you do those on Zoom, just invite them to have a conversation. So think about how valuable this is and how simple this process is. You search and you find questions that your target audience is asking. That becomes the title of your video. So you make a 10 minute video answering their question. At the end of that video, you give them a gift and you get their contact information. You nurture them and you invite them to a conversation. So they went from people who've never heard of you before to now they've scheduled an appointment with you and they already know who you are and there's already a level of trust that's built. Okay, so let me show you Noelle Randall. I've been producing her YouTube channel for about four and a half Five. years. All right, so take a look at some of her videos here. How to get business credit with bad personal credit or how to buy your first rental property with no money. This video over the last three years has really grown to nearly a million views. Now, if we click on that. How to buy your first. Let's skip forward to the end. Let's see what she says here. Invite you to come to our webinar. We literally have our own crowdfund, as I mentioned before, and I would, would want other people to do the same. So the free gift that she's offering here is a webinar. So this episode is 12 minutes long. So they asked this question, how to buy your first rental property with no money. And she gave them value for 12 minutes. And then she says, and tell you what, we're doing a free webinar and she invites people to that webinar. All right, so as I scroll down into the description here, um, the link for her webinar is right here. It's get your free training here. But I wanna show you, she actually offers other gifts. So depending on the video, in the episode itself, she only talks about one free gift. So she has a few things and she does link to them all below her videos, but in the video, she'll only talk about one. And often, she talks about this one, free book. So let's click on this. Noelle talks about this book that she offers. So when people are, are watching her video learning about real estate and learning how to get into Airbnb real estate, she then offers them, hey, would you like a copy of this book? You just pay the shipping and the printing cost and I'll send you this book for free. So do you see the connection there? Do you see how you as a life coach can follow this strategy to attract life coaching clients? So think about what gift 
might you offer? Go ahead and comment below and I'll reply letting you know if I, if I think it's a good idea or not. Something that's important to consider is the name. The name needs to really paint the picture of the value of your free gift. So even if it's a PDF download, if you call it a PDF download, that doesn't sound very valuable. But if you call it, you know, my, my real estate investing blueprint, and this is a resource I use every time I buy a property, well then that PDF sounds a lot more valuable. So what's something in your life coaching business that you could give away for free? Go ahead and share that in the comments below. And as you might have guessed, I've got a free gift for you and it is a book. I have a book that teaches my entire strategy. I've got examples like Noel and many others in here because I produce over 50 different YouTube channels. Now you'll notice this book's in color. So the printing and shipping cost for this is like 15 or 16 bucks, but that's no profit to me. The reason I want you to have this book is I want you to learn this strategy on how you can really leverage YouTube for lead generation. And it took me two years to pack all of that experience and wisdom into this book. And if you go to natesyoutubebook.com, then this is my gift to you.